Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be covering everything you can do during the Orktoberfest event. There have been some updates since the original video I created, as well as more details I'd like to share. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Also, you can click the join button if you want to see how you can support me further. The Orktoberfest event is an event that will run for one week twice a year. It will start on the second Friday of March and also the second Friday of October. The weekend following the event will get 50% bonus experience for a particular creature type in the bestiary. To get to the island, we will start at Thias Depot. Head out the south gate, where you can find a teleport to take you to the island. Once you arrive, if you go to the southwest, you will find the fishing rods. To the east, you will be able to find the Whack and Orc, Cart Races, Nail Beam, and Sausage Eating Contest. These are the main events for gaining festive points, which are used to purchase rewards. There are several other events, a boss to fight, some achievements, outfits, and mounts. I'll discuss everything in more detail, but you can use the timestamps on the video to skip to any particular section if you need more details. For the Wacken Orc, you can gain between 5 and 15 points depending on how many Orcs you hit. Between 0 and 7 will not give you any points, 8 to 10 will reward 5 points, 11 to 14 will reward 10 points, and finally, 15 or more orcs hit will grant 15 reward points. You can see the chart on screen from TibiaWiki showing these reward levels. This activity can be repeated every 15 minutes. As soon as you jump in, you want to hotkey the hammer if this is your first time to make it easier for future attempts. You will run around the pen and try to hit the holes with the orc heads by using the hammer on them and avoid the kittens. If you do hit a kitten, you will be kicked out. The nail beam can be completed 3 times for 5 points each time for a total of 15 festive points. This can be repeated every 30 minutes and the timer will start once you've completed your third use. You will have to drink from the casks until you get the orange message that you are super drunk. This makes it very hard for you to walk, but you have to attempt to make it to the beam and use it. Once you are super drunk, you will only have to use the cask once to become super drunk again if it expires. If you're doing this by yourself, you're better off just clicking on the screen or map clicking on your character find the way. A dwarven ring will not help you here. If you have a friend to help you, you can just let them know once you are super drunk and they can push you to the board, making this much easier as the drunkenness will not affect you then. Another option is once you reach the board and use it, you can log out and you will keep your super drunk status. You then just have to wait 30 seconds and you can log back in and use the board right away. The cart race can be done solo or on a team of up to three players. If you are successful, you will get 15 points per person that completed it. This means if there are three participants and everyone manages to get their cart over the finish line, you will gain 45 festive points each. This can be repeated every 30 minutes. The objective is to get the food wagon to cross the finish line within 1 minute and 30 seconds. As soon as you enter, you will find an ogre fork to the left that can be picked up. You will then make your way to the right with the wagon following you. It is quite fast, but you want to walk over the cobblestone whenever you have the chance to make it move faster. Also, there are creatures that look like water elementals that are called Font of Refreshment. These can speed up your wagon. You want to avoid the wagon moving over tar, sand, or next to the slowing slimes, as they will reduce your wagon speed. You will also need to watch out for the annoying dog. These dogs will slow down the wagon as well. You can either use the ogre fork on the wagon to cause it to drop meat. If the dog walks over this, it'll turn into an eating dog and distract it for a few seconds. Or the other option is to just ignore the annoying dog and attempt to outrun it. Another use of the ogre fork is to use it on the wagon when it is paralyzed and it will change the wagon's form, thus removing the paralysis. The sausage eating contest requires at least three people to start and can be done with up to five participants. It will reward either 6, 8, or 10 festive points to the winners depending on the amount of participants. 3 players will result in 6 points, 4 players will give 8 points, and finally 5 players will reward the winners with 10 points. This content can be repeated every 15 minutes. To maximize your chance at winning, you want to make sure your character is as hungry as possible. Each bite of the food will fill up your character a different amount. It can range anywhere from 1 minute to 7 minutes of regeneration time per bite. Besides making sure your character is hungry, the rest of the contest is just luck. 
Every round, a new plate of competition sausages will appear in front of your character. You need to eat these every round for five rounds. Any players that manage to eat the sausages each of these rounds will be considered a winner. The bass fishing has no cooldown, it isn't that efficient for points. You will gain 10 points for catching a bass, but it is more complicated than just normal fishing. You can find the rods next to the water to the west. You will require worms to use these fishing rods. If you run out, you can buy more from the NPC Xavier, who can be found on the island. Each of these rods have a 15 second cooldown, and once used will have a white piece of cloth appear on them until they can be used again. If you have the rods to yourself, you can run between them all to use multiple at once. If you're online at a busy time, you may have trouble finding a rod you need with other players using them. To catch a bass, you must first use the simple fishing rods to catch a tiny bass. You then can use the stout fishing rods and the tiny bass as bait for a chance to catch a small bass. Finally, you can use an advanced fishing rod with the small bass as bait for a chance to catch a bass. As soon as you catch the bass, you will be rewarded the 10 Festa points. It seemed to take me about 5 to 10 small bass to catch one regular bass. The other parts of the Orcs Oberfest event involve getting access to the feeding grounds. The feeding grounds can be found just to the east of the dock you land on when you take the teleport to the island. To access the feeding grounds will take 10 schnitzel points to gain access for 2 hours. These schnitzel points are different than the festive points that you use to gain rewards. To get schnitzel points, I'd recommend buying all-knowing sausages from Xavier for 100 festive points. The Great Schnitzel's location changes every 2 hours and using the all-knowing sausages will tell you what location you can find it in. The item will not be consumed when you use it and it lasts between events. You'll only have to buy it the one time. The gate to access the Great Schnitzel can be found in either Ankerman, Abdendril, Carlin, Cormea, Darashia, Edron, Farman, Fibula, Isavi, Kazardun, Liberty Bay, Port Hope, Rathleton, Svargrond, Thias, Venor, or Yelhar. I'll show some of the maps on screen now and I'll leave a link to TibiaWiki in the description where it may be easier to view them and find the location. Once you find the gate, step on the ominous cauldron and you'll be taken into the Great Schnitzel's lair. The creatures here don't do any damage, so don't worry. You must kill the spawns of the schnitzel and loot the schnitzel meat grinders that are dropped by them. You then use the schnitzel meat grinders on the great schnitzel to damage it. Each meat grinder used will give you one schnitzel point. You can only have 50 of these points at a time and will be notified when you attempt to use a schnitzel meat grinder on the great schnitzel once you've received the maximum points. You will receive a message that says, you already have earned 50 points, let others have their chance. Once you have these points, you can make your way back to the feeding grounds to participate in some other tasks. Just remember, the points will be consumed automatically when you step in the teleporter, and access only lasts for 2 hours. While inside the feeding grounds, you can use a broom on the vomit puddles to mop them up. You can do this every 15 minutes, and it rewards one festive point. This isn't an efficient way to get points, but if you're passing through the spawn, you may as well do it. The porker can be found just south of the Nails in the Board minigame. This is possible to do solo, but it will be a lot better if you have a few friends to help you out. You must run around the feeding grounds and collect items that spawn here. You will then feed these items to the porker. These items are addled egg, bread crust, flaccid salad, old meat, potato peelings, and rotten tomatoes. I recommend looping around half the cave or so each time, picking up all the items you find. Then run back and use them on the porker. These items will disappear if you hold them for too long so you have to make frequent trips back. It will take 300 of these items for the porker to transform into the fat porker. Once it transforms into the fat porker, you have to attack it and gain credit for the kill. It has a lot of hit points, but does not do any damage. The amount of festive points you receive seems to vary depending on how much food you feed it, but the most you can receive is 25 points. The boss, King Chalk, can be found at the end of the feeding grounds. This is a lever boss that you can attempt with a team of 1-5 to five players. You can attempt the boss once per hour, up to a max of 3 times in a 20 hour period. The reward for successfully defeating King Chuck will be 100 festive points, as well as a chance of getting an Orc Soberfest plushie. The first time you defeat the boss each event, you will gain a special item as well as progress towards the Orc Soberfest garb outfit. You gain progress towards the outfit every second event you defeat the boss. This means it will take 3 years, which is 6 events at a minimum, to complete the outfit. 
The special items you receive for your first participation in each event are lederhosen, traditional shirt, traditional neckerchief, traditional stein, traditional leather shoes, and traditional gamesbart hat. This boss won't do any damage, and it's all about mechanics. This boss has a few phases that will go in the following order. Stew, beer elementals, stew, beer elementals, then angry king chuck. It will then repeat these again in the same order. After completing the angry king chuck phase for the second time, you do the ogre treasure phase. You have 10 minutes to complete all of the stages of this boss, but failing phases can cause time penalties, which will give you less time to complete it. For the stew phase, you'll find ingredients around the room. You can use the image taken from TibiWiki on here to find each ingredient. The ingredients are spread out on four tables, one to the north, east, south, and west of the room. There will be an orange message requesting an ingredient to be added to the stew. You must use the ingredient on the table to obtain it, then use that ingredient on the cauldron to add it. If you fail to add the ingredient in time, you receive a time penalty. It is easiest if you have one person at each table responsible for putting those ingredients in. Once five ingredients are placed in the cauldron, four rampaging beer elementals will spawn. You will have to use the traps on the floor around the room to open them. Then lure the beer elementals onto them. Once the rampaging beer elemental has stepped on the trap, it will turn into a captured beer. These will run away from you and you must get them to the area with the other barrels in the northwestern part of the room. Make sure you stand on the opposite side of them to keep them running away from you in the right direction. It is important to not let the beer elementals hit you. If they manage to hit you three times, you will get one minute deducted from your time within the room. Once the Angry King Shook phase starts, you will appear by the cauldron. You will have to use the barrel near the orc hook in the southwest part of the room. When you use this barrel, it will cause a strong ogre beer barrel to appear somewhere else in the room. You then have to lure the Angry King Chuck to the barrel, and he will drink the beer. Once he drinks five barrels, he will calm down and complete this phase. If this boss manages to hit you enough times, you will be kicked from the room. I believe it is three times before you are kicked. Once you have completed the Angry King Chuck phase for the second time, an ogre treasure will spawn just to set the cauldron. It has a lot of health, but all you have to do is focus on damage and kill it. It will not attack you, so feel free to use all of your buff spells and kill as fast as possible. Once you destroy the chest, you will get your loot. Besides all of the events to do and festive points to get, there are a few other things you can do during this event as well as redeeming your points. While the event is active, the only time you'll be able to find the creatures Cow, Roast Pork, Ogre, Bellicose Ogre, and Loriket Ogre. They will each require 1000 kills to complete which means there are 125 charm points available during this event. Rapid Respawn isn't necessary, but will definitely make the completions easier if the event happens to fall when a Rapid Respawn event is active. Killing the Bellicose Ogre will give you a chance to loot three different mount items. They are the green, red, and blue decorative sheets. You will also have to loot a beer tap from a roast pork, then use this tap on one of the super casks with the decorative sheet in your inventory. The super casks are the ones that you use to get super drunk during the nail beam activity. This will grant you the rolling barrel mount depending on the color of the sheet. I've already mentioned the Orc Soberfest garb outfit. You can make progress on this once per event by completing the King Chuck fight. It will take 6 events, which is 3 years minimum, to get the full outfit. You will only gain the outfit and each add-on after each 2 participations in the event. There are 3 achievements available during this event. They are the Dua Barrel Roll achievement, this is for getting the Rolling Barrel Mount. You can get all three mounts, but the first one you get will grant the achievement. There is also the Traditionalist achievement for completing the Orc Soberfest Garb outfit. Lastly, you can receive the Orc Soberfest Welcome achievement for winning all of the previous mentioned games and defeating King Shock. These typically only have to be won once, but I'll mention any additional details related to each one if necessary. The games are as follows. Whack the Orc, The Great Food Race, Smash the Nails, the board must be used three times in this one, Bass Fishing, you must catch the full size bass, not the tiny or small bass, the Eating Contest, which also counts if you tie, Sweeping the Vomit, do not feed the Porker, you have to help feed and kill the fat Porker to get credit for this, and finally defeating King Chuck. Once you've managed to complete all of these, you'll receive the achievement. 
Lastly, now that we have spent all this time collecting points, what will we use them for? You can turn them into NPC Xavier for new furniture, treats, cakes, or lots. The lots cost 10 festive points each and have a chance to give you one of the new plushies that can be seen behind the NPC. There are currently six different plushies that are on screen now. Also, CIP has been adding more as this event goes on, so there may be more every year. I hope this video will help you better understand all the tasks and games that are available during this event, as well as some of the other things that are available to you. You can collect points for some of the new items, or your chance at a plushie, unlock some achievements, mounts, an outfit, and more. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, especially if you made it this far. If you want to show your support, please subscribe, like the video, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks again, and see you next time.